What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Ploof, and today we got a good one for you. Now, a lot of you have already seen my video about Jordan Hicks and how I picked his pitches in spring training and used it to get a base hit. And all was fine and dandy in Hitterland. But if you watch the show, you know that all is not always well in Hitterland, and this is an example of that. I can't just give you all the good stuff. Sometimes i got to give you some of the bad stuff so you appreciate the good stuff a little bit more. The date is June 1st, 2011, a young coach, Treb, trying to establish himself in the big league still. Now, I got called up in early May this year, kind of came out hot, hit some homers, was doing well, playing every day, and then I got in a rut. A 1-for-20 slide that at this time I just couldn't figure out a way to get out of it. And that happens a lot to hitters. That's okay. But when you don't have that many plate appearances, that 1-for-20 turns your numbers pretty, pretty ugly. So like I said, I'm looking for anything to get out of this. And on the mound, we got Al Albuquerque, as you're about to see in this video. And before my at-bat, Michael Kadire walks up to me, puts his arm around me, and whispers something in my ear. And it was sweet, sweet music. That's what I heard from Mike. I said, okay, you got something on this guy? That's exactly what I need to get my confidence going again. Tell me what you got. Let's go get it. Now, he did. He told me what he had, and I was very excited. Watched his at bat. Everything was good. And then I stepped in the box. Before we get to the video, you know the drill. Check out these offers we got for you right here. Yo, golf. Let's talk about it. I don't really watch a lot of golf, but I do watch one tournament a year, and it is this weekend. It is the Masters. I think everyone's favorite tournament of the year. So DraftKings is back with another ridiculous offer, another one of those $1 to $100 type bets. All you got to do is place a $1 bet on any golfer from this weekend, and if they finish in the top 10, then... You win 100 bucks. So we're talking Dustin Johnson, Justin Thomas, maybe a little bit of Bryson. Sprinkle a little bit on Bryson, but it's only a dollar. Maybe Rory comes back to form. All you got to do is drop $1 on them. And if they finish in the top 10, you win $100. I like that a lot. All you have to do is download the top rated DraftKings Sports app now and use promo code JOHNBOY when you sign up to turn the $1 into the $100. If the golfer of your choosing finishes in the top 10, of this weekend's tournament. That's code John Boy to turn $1 into $100 for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, or Pennsylvania only. New customers only. Restrictions apply. to DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Now what Mike whispered into my ear, that sweet music I alluded to in the open, was that he had a tip on Al Albuquerque. He said, look, if you watch where his arm is setting up, his throwing arm, you're going to get the elbow up and the wrist straight on a heater, and you're going to get it curled down and it cocked a little bit more on an off speed. That's, that's a pretty standard look that you're, that you're searching for uh, with a pitcher. So I said, that's awesome. That's easy for me to see. I'll be able to see it from the box. And I was able to watch all of uh, Mike's at bat from the on-deck circle. And from there, I saw how easy his at-bat was. He took some sliders so easy. I'm like, look, this is this is butter, baby. We got this. Base is loaded. We're down two. I can be a hero now, Michael. Thank you. And you'll do anything to stay in the big leagues and not get sent on the AAA. This is all in my head. I'm like, this is, this is what I needed. Thank you very much. So step in the box with a ton of confidence. And now Albuquerque at this point, I mean, he's good. He's, I'm talking 95, 96 with the heater and kind of a sharp, sharp slider. And he threw it, like I said, a ton. So I'm walking up here. And I'm like, all right, let's focus on this. Let's focus on this. I get it. I'm like, all right. I see that elbow up straight. It's going to be a fastball. Boom. Perfect. I got him. I said, I got it. I saw that first one. It was a waste pitch. Now I'm 1-0 and I can do whatever I want. If there was a slider here, I'm going to spit on it. Just wait for that heater again. So then I get back and he gets set. And here I'm like, wait a minute. Is that a slider or a fastball? And which one was it? Is it up as a fastball or is up a slider? I forgot. So he throws the pitch. I think it's a heater. And look at that swing. That's the swing when you think a heater's coming and you get a slider. So now in my mind, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, 
think back, think back. What was that pitch right there? Okay, that was a slider. It was up. Was it down? And I am totally gone. And all this is going on through my head right now, and I don't know what's going on. So I said, I might have missed that one. Same thing. Nope. Again, again, I thought a heater was coming. Slider came. And now I'm one, two, and I'm not sure. Look at that face right there. Have you ever seen a frustrated face and a face that you're like, dang, I'm about to get sent down. That's the face right there. So I don't know what's going on now. In my mind, I'm like, do I continue to try to do this? Did I just see it wrong? Did I just not know? Uh, did, I, did I not hear what Mike said correctly? So at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to trust Cuddy and I'm going to trust him. my vision right here. So let's see it again. Now, I just waved the two sliders that were probably balls. So you're seeing me here. Look how I'm so focused right there. And what I do here, let me see it, is I'm like, all right, that's the slider again. And I am going to make sure that pitch is up. And if it starts down at all, I'm taking battle this at bat. Let's get past this pitch and win this at bat. Well, was it a slider? It was not a slider. I took it. Everybody was upset with me. The announcers were saying what a bad at bat I had. And I'm walking back saying, I just gave that one away. I had no idea what was going on. That wasn't even me right there. I was guessing the whole time and guessing wrong. And that's a frustrated, frustrated coach, Trev. So the moral of the story is even if you think you have something, double check, make sure. And when you get up to the plate and things go awry, just bang it. Just go back to being you versus the pitcher. You know, having a tip is great, but it's not always going to work out. You can't always rely on it. So my advice to all the hitters, if you, get in your, if you find yourself in the situation I was just in right there, forget about it completely. Maybe even close your eyes or look away when the pitcher's coming set. Don't even focus on it because that was my problem right there. I said, I can still get it. I think I got it. What was it? And my head was spinning, spinning. And before I knew it, I was gone, down on strikes and four pitches. And guess what? I got sent down two days later. So I told you this was not going to be a happy episode, but thank you for sticking with us. We'll be back next week with another great episode. Hope you guys are having a great day. Peace.